Hi everyone, I'm Rita LaVon and welcome to my channel at Love Build Share. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you are not already a subscriber, I ask that you click on the red box in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Today's video is going to be a heart to heart video. And these videos mean so much to me because I am sharing things that are near and dear to my heart that I want to get out in the world. With that being said, today's video is going to be about the term or the phrase, comparison is the thief of joy. <laughs> and I'm sure you all have probably heard that before because it is so common, um, but it is so true. Um, so when I say that, I simply mean that you shouldn't be comparing your life in terms of like the jealousy sense. You know, we can look at other people's lives and we can kind of see like, hmm, I may or may not want to live that way. You know, looking at someone's life can be an inspiration, but it can also be a way to see like, no, that's not how I want to live my life. So I'm not necessarily speaking in those terms. I am speaking in terms of when you see that someone has accomplished something and you may have went down that same path as well and you weren't able to finish you know a good example would be something like you know going to school you know whether it be you know college um or um you know going back to school um we could talk about you know sports maybe um there are so many topics you know we could talk about being married um, we could talk about, you know, having a child, um, purchasing things, you know, things like cars or a house, you know, versus living in an apartment. There are so many things that we can get jealous of people because they have something we want and that jealousy brings on anger because we can't figure out why we can't get it. And I'm just here to tell you that you don't have to compare yourself to other people. When it is your time, you will have whatever it is that you were supposed to have. And also remind yourself in that, that we can pray for the things we want. We can hope for the things that we want, but we also have to put action behind it. So you may be asking for something, but have you put the action behind it? Have you done the research behind it? Because a lot of times people say action, but it's like, what does action mean? So let's break that down. Because when I think of action, I first think of a plan. So creating a plan of whatever it is that you want. And this could be something that you could write down on a piece of paper or, you know, put it in your phone or what have you. Um, I can tell you from experience that writing things down definitely makes a big difference for me. Um, so creating a plan. And then when you have that plan, you do the research. And when I say that, I mean just doing a Google search or whatever, you know, um, search engine that you use to look up things to figure out how to get to that point in your plan based upon whatever step that you were on. And in doing that research, you then have to talk about the sacrifice that goes behind it. So if we were to say something like going back to school, going back to school is a sacrifice, especially if you are married or have children and even if you're single because you're still going to have to take time away from the things that you love so that could be your family members that could be um you know going to events with your friends that could be doing whatever it is in life that you're doing right now when you make a plan to go to something new and to do something new there's going to be some type of sacrifice and the next question is are you prepared for that sacrifice are you ready? And when you get to that point, are you going to keep going? Because how many times in life have we known people to say things and never do things? Because they don't put action behind it. You know, it's like, don't talk about it, be about it in that sense, where you really need to do your research, put that action behind it and get it done. Yes, there's going to be sacrifices. Yes, it's going to be hard. There's going to be times where you fail, but then you have to get back up and you have to keep going. Because if you don't, 
you're going to spend your life comparing your life to so-and-so who didn't stop and kept going and they were able to achieve the same thing that you wanted. Because seeing people who have done the things that you want, that should be an inspiration to you. It should not be a, oh, well, why can't I get it? Well, have you tried? And if you fail, did you get back up? When you compare yourself to others, you come from a point of view of assuming, which is never a good thing. Because we love to say, oh, well, I know so-and-so who got this. You know their situation? Do you know their net income? Do you know the amount of bills you pay? Do you know the amount of help they have? You know, people get jealous because they can't get something when all the while the person that you're jealous of, they have help. They have people in their life who may pay some of their bills, who may give them money whenever they need it. And you may be the type of person that you have to be independent. So you have to take that into consideration as well. Right now we are in graduation season and um, I think it's a really popular time right now to really be in the midst of comparing yourself to people because maybe uh, you started college and you had to drop out because you had to help your you know, parents pay bills or maybe you got pregnant and you had to drop out or whatever it is that the circumstances may be. Just know that where you are currently is not where that you are going to stay as long as you keep moving. It's very easy to get defeated when you are in the midst of a season that is extremely hard. You feel as if you are alone and that you can't make it. But I'm here to tell you that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, even though you can't see it right now. It's going to come one day. And the thing that you have to do now is to prepare for that one day. And you have to keep going. You have to keep believing. And you are in the midst of a test for a reason. We all have them. Tests and seasons. And we, we can't figure things out. And we wonder why. And we become very hard on ourselves. And it just... It just doesn't make sense because life isn't fair. And you know, bad things happen to good people all the time. But I'm here to tell you that you must keep going and that your time will come, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. You know, they say joy cometh in the morning and it truly does because God will make a way out of no way. So... I say all that to just give you all some encouragement because if you are in the midst of a storm right now and you are comparing where you are to others, my suggestion would be to take a pause, to take a deep breath, to thank God for where you're at even though you don't like where you're at because I'm here to tell you to keep going. I'm here to tell you to believe in yourself. I'm here to tell you that you are stronger than you could ever believe and that that one day will come and that I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of you and to remind yourself that you are human, that you make mistakes, that you need to give yourself grace and that it's okay. It is okay. So I just wanted to come on and just give you all some encouragement um, because as I said, the topic of the video is comparison is the thief of joy and we all need joy in life. And if that joy means you walking outside and getting some serotonin because, oh, we all need some sunlight. <laughs> we all need some sunlight. If that means that you have to go take a walk and if that walk is only to the mailbox, at least you took a walk, okay? Because in those types of seasons, you know, depression can come along, anxiety can come along, you know, stress is always here. There's just so much that people are dealing with and it's a reminder to simply just be, you know, kind to people. Just be kind. A simple hello and asking people how they're doing, it goes a long way. 
So don't forget to take care of yourself. And if you're in the midst of a storm and you can't afford to do what some people consider to be self-care, you know, sometimes taking care of yourself or self-care just means to take a deep breath. Sometimes it means just to take a nap. Sometimes it means to read an extra scripture in the Bible. Sometimes it means to worship more, to worship God more, to listen to gospel music more, to, to listen to worship music more, to read a book. There's so many different things that you can do for self-care, and that includes also making smart decisions. So if you're in the midst of that storm and you know that you are the reason why you're in the midst of that storm because of something you did, don't be so hard on yourself because we all make mistakes. And in the words of Maya Angelou, do the best that you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And while you were hearing you before you go, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are always in the description box under the video. And I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.